Having a fabulous week. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this beautiful oversized shift dress. It's also an ILO style, and I hope you guys love it. It's a beginner project, and it's a very easy project. You don't even need a zipper. So, if you've never sewn before, this is definitely one of those dresses you need to get your hands on. I'm also going to be showing you guys three different ways on how I style this dress. So make sure you watch to the end of the video to see how I styled the dress. The measurement needed for this project are her bust circumference, hips circumference, shoulder width, the length from our shoulder to her bust, the length from our shoulder to our hips. To create the high-low effect, the length of the back of our dress has to be longer than the length of the front of our dress. So we need to take the measurement of how long we want the back of our dress to be. We will call this the back length. We also need to take the measurement of the front of our dress, which we will call the front length. For this project, you will need a sewing machine, a lightweight flowy fabric. In my case, I used the lightweight polyester fabric. I actually wish my fabric weight was lighter because I wanted a drapery effect from my dress, but I had to go with what I had. So make sure you use a lightweight fabric that creates a drapery effect. It makes the dress look prettier when you wear your belt with it. A lightweight stretch fabric is also very appropriate for this project. You also need a scissors to cut your fabric and I recommend you use another scissors to cut out your pattern. Never use the same scissors to cut fabric and paper. It dulls the scissors. And lastly, you will need a French curve, a straight ruler, and a marker or a pencil. I use a rotary blade to cut out my pattern, and of course, I need a self healing mat for that. I use the self healing mat to make sure my lines are straight when I dropped my patterns. Once you have all your materials, then we are ready to start drafting our pattern. This is a very easy project. It shouldn't even take you more than an hour to complete. For this project, we are basically drawing two large rectangles with four holes for her two arms, head and legs. On our pattern paper, we are going to draw a vertical line that measures the back length, which is the length from our shoulder to the longest part of our dress. We will have three centimeters to that number. 2 cm for hem and 1 cm for seam allowance, so which is 3 cm in total. My back length measurement is 116 cm. I have 3 cm to that, making it 119 cm. On our vertical line, we're going to mark 4 points. The first point will be at the very top of our line. This point is the neckline. The second point will be our bust point which measures the length from our shoulder to bust. We will add 1 cm to that number. The third point will be our hips point, which measures the length from our shoulder to our hips. We will also add 1 cm to that number. Our last point will be at the very bottom of our vertical line. We will call this the desired back length. On each point marked on the vertical line, we will draw a horizontal line for each point. For our neckline point, we will take the measurement of our shoulder width and add 2 cm to it. We will then divide that number by 2. We will then draw a horizontal line of that measurement to the left of our neckline point. We will draw the same measurement to the right side of our neckline point. The horizontal line width for our bust, hips and desired length will be the same. To get this measurement, we will take our hip circumference measurement and add 4 cm for seam allowance and for the 6 cm for ease. We will then divide that number by 4. We will draw this number to the left and right of our point. We will do this for our bust, hips and desired back length points. You can always manipulate the number for your ease as you would like. I used for the 6 cm but you can, you can by all means increase or decrease that number as you wish. The smaller the number of the ease, the tighter the dress and the larger the number the looser the fit. 
So if you like how the dress fits on me, then you can always use 46 cm ease, regardless of your size. It is now time to connect the lines with our shred ruler. We will connect the lines of our bust hips and desired length. It will look something like this. Our next step is to draw our arm all on each side of the pattern. You will need your French curve ruler for this part. We want to connect our neckline to our bust line, but instead of just using a regular straight ruler, it's more appropriate to use a French curve ruler to draw this part. But honestly, for this particular project, you can just use a regular straight ruler to connect the lines because our dress is an oversized dress and it wouldn't really matter. If we were doing a regular fit dress, then using a French curve ruler to create an arm hole would be necessary. But I'm still going to be using my French curve ruler in this video. I will start drawing my arm hole from the 3 inches mark on my ruler, like so. Depending on how deep you want your arm hole, feel free to manipulate that number. I didn't want mine to be as deep, so I started drawing from 3 inches. The higher the number, the deeper the arm hole will be. Repeat this step for your second arm hole. Your pattern should look like this. For our next step, we will cut out the outline of our pattern with a rotary blade or scissors. Mine looks like this. Remember this is the back of your dress. This is the back pattern of your dress. Making the front of our dress will be a lot easier since we, don't, since we won't have to go through the whole process like we did for the back side. All we'll be doing is making a duplicate of the back pattern but with a shorter length. But instead of making the pattern from scratch, we will trace the back pattern, uh, we'll trace the back pattern out on the pattern paper. Before we begin this process, we will mark how short we want our front pattern to be on the back pattern. I've marked a huge X so you can see how short I want mine. You can, remember we are doing the high-low effect. You can make the front length any length you want. If you don't want the high-low effect, you can just duplicate the back pattern with the exact same length. So I will place my back pattern on a pattern paper and trace my back pattern up to the point of my X mark. Which is how short I want my, which is how short I want the front of my dress to be. I'm gonna be tracing with a red marker so you guys can see what I'm doing. When you're done tracing the front pattern, cut out the outline. Our next step is to create our neckline. I'll measure 26 cm down from my neckline point. This is how deep I want my neckline to be. Feel free to customize this number as you wish, but make sure it is deep enough to let your head in the dress. We will now measure how wide we want our neckline hole to be. In order to do this, we will measure 9.5 cm to the left and right of the neckline point like so. This number will vary depending on how thick your neck is. So take the circumference of your neck with a measuring tape. Divide that number by four, this is how I got my number. We will now connect this point like so. We will revisit our back pattern for this part. I want the edges of the bottom of the back of my dress to be cut at an, at an angle. I'll be using my French curve ruler to create this effect. Remember the huge X we marked on the back pattern to indicate how short we want our dress to be? That is where our curved angle will start. At the very bottom of the back pattern, we will measure 15 centimeters inwards from the very edge. Mark that point. You will do the same for the other side. We will be connecting that point to the first X we made. You can use a straight ruler to connect the point, but I'll be using the French curve ruler. I will start drawing the line from 2 inches mark on the ruler, like so. It should look something like this. Do it on both sides. Cut out the half line of the carved edges. Remember, I only did this to the back of my pattern. Also cut out your neckline like so. We have just one more step to complete this dress. This step is also optional. You can always skip this step. If you would like some details on your dress, then go ahead with this step. I am basically just going to cut out some portion of the front pattern like so. I measured 13 cm from the bottom, then I drew a horizontal line across that point, then I cut it out. The reason I did this is to add some interesting details to the front of the dress. You guys can even use a different color of fabric for the cut out portion, but I decided to use the same fabric for mine. We are officially done drafting our pattern. Our next step is to cut out our pattern on, uh, on our fabric. And now it's time to sew. First sew our cut out pattern back to our main piece. 
I have been along the area blue so I will be searching mine because my fabric frays. Always remember to place the right side of the fabric together so your stitches will be on the wrong side of the fabric. And our seam allowance is one centimeter. Our next step is to sew the front pattern to the back pattern. Place the right sides of the fabric together and sew along the sides. Sew the shoulders together, right sides together. Our seam allowance is also one centimeter. Our last and final step is to hem the dress. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you guys found this video to be very helpful. I'm also going to be showing you guys three different ways on how to style this dress. So just make sure you wait to the end of this video to see how I'm going to style this dress. Um, okay, so something just came to my mind and I was thinking, if you guys make this dress, you can always share it on your social media and hashtag style with Timmy Marie or just hashtag SWTM because style with Timmy Marie is obviously too long. So I'll just, I'll like to see your version of this dress and it to be a great platform to show other viewer, viewers, you know, different ways to make this particular dress. So, I'm also going to be posting my favorite version of this dress that you guys make on my social media. So that would be fun, I guess. Follow me on Instagram at Tammy Marie, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, Tumblr. I think that's it. Thank you.